Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Wednesday, August 6, 2021, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 9 through 16. Brethren, God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, like men sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour we hunger and thirst. We are ill-clad and buffeted and homeless. And we labor, working with our ha- own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we reconcile. We become and are now the, as the refuse of the world, the offscouring of all things. I do not write this to make you ashamed or to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have many countless guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I urge you then to be imitators of me. Today's gospel is from the gospel of St. John, chapter 20, verses 19 through 31. On the evening of that day, on the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be to you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord, and Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hand the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other things in the sign of the disciples which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So today in the Orthodox Church, we remember St. Thomas, called the twin. We also call him the doubter. And St. Thomas is an example of someone, I would say, of this day and age, where it's really hard to believe that Jesus is risen from the dead, unless there is evidence and proof then people don't believe. We have people that are obsessed with seeing miracles before they're willing to say that, yes, they believe in this or they don't believe in this. Thomas had that feeling, and so when he heard that that our Lord had risen, he refused to acknowledge that he had risen until he got to see it for himself. As a result of that, though, he was put in a position where he was, in a sense, punished. Because when the mother of God passed away, He was not brought by the angels to be at her side. Instead, he had to make the journey all on his own. However, as a gift or a mercy, he was once again presented with the opportunity to witness the power of God. Because when he went to see the grave where the mother of God had been buried, which was exactly the same crypt where her parents, Joachim and Anna, were buried near the Mount of Olives, Well, he went, and when he went and got there, he discovered that the crypt was empty, that she was not there. She had been taken into heaven. And instead of this time saying, oh, she had been stolen or refused to believe in the resurrection or anything like that, he was able to announce to his beloved brethren, now the apostles, that indeed the mother of God had been taken bodily into heaven. And so he was given a second chance. And with this second chance, he made the most of it. And so he stands as an example to us of ways that we should live and the way that we should see as we go in our lives to not be faithless but believing and to be willing to believe even though the things before our eyes may tell us something somewhat different. God is with us and that's something that we need to hold on to regardless of what the evidence around us points out. You can see the miracles but you have to be willing to look for them and you have to be willing to believe. And may God bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I thank you for joining me. Have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.